Welcome back, everybody, to the Taskmaster Challenge. Well, I had a few weeks off, but I'm ready to dive back in with the other guys on these challenges. So well, here's what we're facing today. Let me go ahead and pull it up so you can see it. Uh, it says, we are to design a convoy raider using the following specifications. The, our country is Britain. Our tech is 1908. We are to make one battle cruiser. Design restriction. Your ship must have at least long range and an advanced radio upgrade. And we are to attack a combined French-Spanish convoy at a range of 10 kilometers. Uh, France, 1907 tech, one battleship, four light cruisers, six destroyers, 10 transports. The scoring system and therefore the twist is behind the spoiler tech. So I haven't looked at this yet. Uh, and we're supposed to design the ship and hit launch and only then look at that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and design our ship based on what we're facing. Uh, and then we're going to look at the uh, instructions for the uh, for the fight. All right, so since there's no restriction on size, I think we're going to go as big as we possibly can. Drop that. You know, it's been a few weeks since I've played this, so this is going to be pretty interesting to kind of dive back in on a challenge where I don't know exactly what I'm facing. But that's actually, it's a good thing, I guess, that we're doing it that way because that's a little more realistic. I'm going to move that a little further forward so I can get a gun back on there. Um, so we have to have at least long range and advanced radio. So let's go ahead and do those now before we forget. So we can't go any of those. We can go right here. All right, there we go. All right, now beyond that, Obviously, with all those destroyers and such, we're going to need some torpedo protection, I'm thinking. Um, Anti-torpedo 2 is as high as we can go. We do need some funnels. I'm going to put two of them on there because we're going to have a lot of speed. What's the biggest main gun we can go? 13 inches, but that's a Mark III. Um, looking at the accuracy ratings here. I think we'll go with the 12s. I'm going to throw one on the front. Uh, we can't get one up there, but that's okay. We can put a secondary there. Uh, I'm definitely going to want some secondary guns on this thing. Let's put put some eights right there. Let's get some sixes on here. I'm definitely going to... Oh, we're already overweight. Oh, we got to switch our armor. We can go all the way up to Krupp 2. That doesn't really buy us a lot of weight, though. My goodness. I think we're going to have to drop some speed. Going down to 30 knots. Remember, this is only 1907, 1908 tech. Um, what else can we do to drop some weight? Oh, yeah. How about engines? There we go. That helps. Definitely want some barbette protection. I'm definitely going to want a double hull bottom. Anti-flood. Max out the bulkheads as best I can. That does not give me a lot left over. I think I'm going to want to... Oh, all I can get is underwater tubes. And these things are heavy. Uh, I feel like it's probably not even worth it. And man, electrical hydro turrets goes really far on weight. How about... Yeah, we'll go Lidite 1. I like that. What else can we do? Oh, we still have to add armor. Reloading, I'd like to get the reloading up a little bit. Man, we're not going to have a lot of armor on this thing, are we? Oh, boy. Unless I drop a little more speed. I know we say speed is armor, but armor is also armor. Um, and we're in pretty close already, so I'm thinking belt. Let's protect our conning tower. I think the turret's already decent. I don't think we need too much more deck armor. Alright, I think that's about all we're going to do. It doesn't give us a lot in the way of weapons. Okay. Um, I wonder if I took one of these funnels off how my efficiency would be it's only 72 percent so so we do need the funnels but what about a small funnel 
that gives us 100% engine efficiency, but also frees up 250 tons. What if we went to another small funnel? Uh, it's only 90% efficiency, but um, it saves another 300 tons. I like it. That frees up a lot of weight. In fact, I might even think about another gun somewhere. How about some fives? Is there anywhere else I can put fives? Not without compromising things. That puts us a little bit over, but I like having the extra. All right. I think we're good. Let's give this a try. I'm going to hit launch, and then we're going to read the instructions. I have no idea what the instructions are going to say. A little nervous about this. Let's go back. Here we go. Okay. Captain, France has invaded its former ally, and the Spanish government has switched sides in the war. Do not engage any Spanish vessels. These are the four light cruisers in the convoy escort. These ships do not have radio and are unaware of the developments on land. Repeat, do not engage the Spanish ships. Even if they fire on your vessel, destroy the French battleships and six destroyers as quickly as possible. The fastest time wins, provided all the light cruisers are still alive and have at least 80% structure remaining. And take the transports as prizes. Every transport sunk will add a penalty of 10 minutes to your time. So it's about fastest time sinking the battleship and the six destroyers. All right, this is cool. I like it. It's different. Here we go. All right, so before we do anything, we've got to not fire on the light cruisers. So we're going to have to identify them. That's definitely the battleship right there. It's been a while since I played the game. I'm trying to remember where everything is. I've only got 400 12 inch shells. I gotta be super careful about how I use those. They're gonna be needed for the battleship, which is what I think we're firing on right now. I'm going to turn right toward him. Closer we get, the better, because we, we really kind of stacked up on the, on the belt armor. I'm actually going to turn the guns off altogether until we get in closer. Oh, funny thing is we've got to be careful because, um, you know, until we identify them for sure, sometimes those destroyers and light cruisers can, can be mixed up a little bit. Until we get a glimpse of everything and we know what we're dealing with. This is probably one of the destroyers coming in here. Oh, I'm sure it is. And he's behind smoke. We'll let our secondary start firing on him. We're gonna have to watch watch for the torpedoes. Wonder what his torpedo range is. No, oh, we're inside of it now. It's six kilometers. This is gonna get dicey because we're gonna have torpedoes coming at us from everywhere. I'm just gonna turn myself in a really tight circle. I'm sure that's the battleship. I'll get my secondaries firing on the destroyer. Light cruisers are probably over here then. Alright, so that's three funnels. I'm going to guess that like, the light cruisers are the ones with the three funnels. Well, no, that's a destroyer and he's got three funnels. Ooh, there's a nice hit. These have two funnels. Those are the light cruisers. 
We nailed one of the destroyers already. With an 8 inch gun. Man, until we're sure, I don't know. That might be the light cruiser. In which case, let's hope we haven't just sunk one of the light cruisers by accident. Because he's definitely below 80%. Yeah, I think that's what that was. Alright, I need everybody to stop firing until we figure out what's going on here. Well, there's only four light cruisers. So until we identify, we really don't know what's what. Okay, here's a destroyer. I'm going to fire everything at him. I have no idea where the torpedoes are. Three hundred eighty shells, that should be plenty for me on the twelve inch guns. Okay, so this is a light cruiser. So the light cruisers have the bigger guns on them and only two funnels. Second light cruiser here. Third one there. So this is definitely a destroyer. That's good. Where are the torpedoes? <laughs> Ooh. Come on, give me a big hit. Problem is turning so much, I'm really making it difficult to hit anything. But I don't want to get nailed by these guys' torpedoes. I gotta take this guy out before he gets more torpedoes in the water. I'm going to straighten out for a minute. Come on. Finish it. <laughs> Finish him. We don't have a lot of time before the torpedoes get in the water. And from this distance, he'll nail me. <clears throat> I'm going to blow him out of the water. Still trying to get the other gun turned around. Oh boy. Man, can't hit anything on this guy. No chance at all. Torpedoes in the water. There's a hit. Might be enough to sink him, too. Oh, it's going to be close. Got him. Come on. Come on. Yes. There's one destroyer down.
This guy just put torpedoes in the water too. I don't see them though. I'm gonna go after the Somali. We're 15 minutes in before we got our first sinking. There's a hit. Not enough flooding damage to sink him though. Only three compartments. We need two or three more. Come on. Yes! He's done. On to the third one. Problem is that one that got away. We're going to have to swing back around on him. Alright. Here's another one. His torpedoes are no, no threat to me. Trouble's going to be that battleship, I think. Because I designed my ship with the small ones in mind because of the Lydite one. It causes some really good HE damage, as you can see. I don't know how it's going to do against the battleship. Oh, man, look at that fire. That was glorious. I love the effect of the the fire against the smoke. I'm going to switch the big gun onto the battleship now. Problem is I I may have to wait a while for that the Volta to catch back up to me. No hit. A 39% chance to hit, though. How far out are we? There goes a the Spahi. We're only four kilometers out from the battleship. No, 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 don't fire on him. Switch. Okay. My secondaries switched to the light cruiser. Now we got to be careful here. Light cruisers do have torpedoes. So we still got two destroyers to deal with and then the battleship. I haven't even seen the transports. I'm going to turn toward the battleship. Man, we still haven't hit him. We got a 40% chance to hit. We haven't hit him yet. Get back up here, Volta, so I can sink you. Pretty poor chances of hitting the destroyer right now, as far away as he is. Oh, that hurt. There's another destroyer out there. Oh, there it is. That's the one that I didn't sink yet. Let's go. Let's finish him off. I don't want to get too close to these light cruisers. Like this one here. I'm afraid he's going to put torpedoes on me. At least they each only have two. There's a hit. Not a lot, but we're, we're making progress. I just need one or two good, good hits on Indomitable, and that'll finish him off. There we go. Not quite enough flooding yet. Oh, here comes his big guns. They're all falling short for the most part. Nothing. Don't you fire torpedoes at me. Man. 
Not a lot of success right now. Where's that other destroyer? He's just completely out of the picture now. Darn it. That's frustrating. Alright, we got that other destroyer. There's a couple of hits on the battleship. We've got two more destroyers and the battleship to sink. We're still only 20 minutes in. Man, I wish I could be blowing these light cruisers out of the water right now. <laughs> They're so close. Such easy tar. Oh, no, no, no. We started firing on one of them. Woo, that was close. That could have been bad. Got to watch when they switch targets like that. We're down to 84% ourselves. I can't believe these guys still haven't fired their torpedoes. The Colbert. I gotta watch here. I'm just gonna watch to see what he does with his torpedoes. I have a torpedo bulge, so the good news is if I do get a couple fired at me at close range, I should be able to survive that. We're going to have to get right up on this battleship to sink it. We also need that other destroyer to show up again. Alright, we're going to have to start pursuing these guys directly. Oh, no! What? Oh! Well, welcome back, History Guy Gaming. <laughs> I was doing pretty well. I was 20 minutes in. I was well on my way to sinking everything. I had 80% structure left. And then I got lit up. Well, safe to say I'm not winning this challenge this week. I will put the links in the description to everybody else's entries. Let's see how they do. Hopefully better than I did. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you again next week.